Hey, I'm Ash from Tower Decals. Uh, today we're going to show you how to install a large um, decal that requires trimming to fit properly on the vehicle. Uh, first, you're going to order order something, um, and it's going to come in a package like so. More than likely, it's going to be rolled up, and you'll get your decal. You can just lay it out flat and leave that for now. Uh, some of the things you, tools you're going to need, uh, scissors, some masking tape, um, razor blade to trim it after you're done, and a squeegee, or you can use uh, a couple credit cards put together, just two credit cards put together to use as a, a squeegee, and a hair dryer or a heat gun of some sort. If you're using the heat gun, make sure you don't burn the paint or the vinyl because they do get hot. Um, some soap or some water with a drop or two of Dawn dish soap. Uh, so. so starting off, first you want to you clean the area that you're going to apply the decal. Today we're going to apply it right here to the side of my Jeep. Um, I've already washed it and used a soap that doesn't have any waxes in it. You don't want any wax on there. And then after afterwards I used a degreaser to make sure that there's no grease on the vehicle. Um, make sure you're using a lint-free lint cloth or just make sure you get the lint off if you don't have lint-free lint -free cloth. Uh, after that, the area you want, um, there's stuff you can remove, like my top here. I've taken that off and I'll take this light out because the decal we're going underneath of that. So now that we have the area, kind of just want to size, figure out where, where you want to put it. Like I said, this decal is designed to be oversized so that it uh, you have to do a little bit of trimming wherever you're putting it. Uh, I think that looks pretty good there. We'll just throw a piece of tape on it up here to hold it. And we'll throw another piece on it over here. This is just to hold it in place to start off. So from there, we just kind of want to make a a hinge in the middle or so right, so we've got our hinge now we can start with the decal just peel it off if your decal doesn't want to peel off with the tape all you have to do is lay it back onto the paper and squeeze, put your hand on the back side and the front side and kind of give it a squeeze right at the edge and it should just pull right off. Pretty simple. So from here you just want to basically pull up this bottom half of the decal to that hinge point. Try not to touch the vinyl because the grease on your fingers can cause it to not stick as well. And just grab another piece of tape to hold that for now, or if you have somebody helping you, you can do that. We'll just get rid of some of this. From there, just use that soap and water we talked about, just spray a little bit on it, just to give it a surface for the decal to, to slide on so that no air bubbles. You can apply it dry, but just easier in my opinion, more forgiving. And just start in the middle, work your way straight down. And since you've used the, the water method, it'll, it'll be more forgiving. Just kind of work everything straight down. Don't worry about your overhang right now. Just work some of these bubbles out. The bubbles in the water. Now you just repeat doing the top side. Get rid of this hinge. Be 
careful here because you could pull the bottom part off and have to start over. Alright, so if you're having trouble because you got the paper a little wet, you just got to press it back and forth until it peels off a little piece here you didn't want to stick to the tape. Uh, once you get it, it should just all come off. Same thing as before, a little bit of water. Now once you get it stuck where you want it, just kind of work all these bubbles out of it. Alright, so we're squeegeeing all the water out using gravity to help us get it all out from behind the decal. Once you're fairly happy with that, Hair dryer, your heat gun, and just uh, apply some heat to it to get the get some more of that water out to get the decal stuck on there nice and good before you pull this tape off. until you're content with most of the, the water out from behind it. Um, you'll start to see the paper when it's wet. You can kind of see through it really easily. And once it starts to dry, it kind of starts to get white again, and harder to see through. So it's just kind of a, a sign that it's starting to dry up. And Yeah. So now we've, we've dried it with the dryer. Um, it'll probably take 10, 15 minutes just depending on how much water you use and how much you actually got squeezed out from behind the decal. Uh, you can just start with the corner somewhere and just if the decal you can I mean you can see if it's dry or not and you just start peeling it you want to make sure that you peel it completely parallel to the decal or to the surface that you're putting it on so that you don't pull the decal straight up and off of the vehicle. And you just want to slowly work it back and forth And you'll see some bubbles in it still, but we'll work those out here. Alright, so you get to parts where you're starting to get the overhang. Um, basically what we're going to do is take this and cut it higher so that we can wrap it and put it in here in this gap of the vehicle. That's what you're going to do for a door jam. You're just going to cut it down the middle and wrap both sides. Um, but for this, for now, we're just going to cut it like up here. Give myself a half an inch or so.
the straighter you cut this, the better. The sharper your knife is, the better as well. We're just gonna cut this as we move along with the decal, making sure not to peel up this top portion. So once you get the tape off, you can come in here and cut this straight across. And we're just going to take our squeegee, the credit card or whatever we were using your fingers if you can get them into that gap and this I'm not too worried because my top will hide this once I get it wrapped in there Check it over for bubbles. We got some bubbles here. You can work out with your fingers a little bit. Careful not to press too hard. You could stretch the vinyl. But most of these, if you leave it sit out in the sun for a day after you've put it on, they'll all bake right out, no problems. And you can use a heat gun again as well, and that'll help dry it all up. But if you squeegee, it good before you pull the tape off you shouldn't have too many which looks like we're pretty good and the bottom ones here you have two options you can either cut it straight with the bottom or you can just take the whole thing and wrap it up underneath the body just kind of wrap it up under it Make sure you've cleaned that back side as well. And once you get it wrapped, and most of the bubbles worked out of it, you can hit it with some heat again, or let it sit in the sun, like I said. All right, so once you're done uh, drying it, got most of the bubbles out, there's a few little ones here that I'll let sit in the sun. And if they don't, um, you can come back later with a sharp knife and just do a pin prick and push air out and it, you won't even notice the hole. Um, just to finish it up, I'm going to put the light back on. If you've covered up any holes in the body, you can just use a knife and uh, just cut a little hole out. You can just cut a little X in it just to leave it and then you can put your screw back in. Um, and other than that, I'm just going to put the light in.